Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com. I'm here to give a quick overview on how to use our telling time clock teaching tool. When you start it up, you're going to see this uh, our logo here and this flash screen, and just click start, and it'll take you to the teaching tool. Before we do go over that, though, uh, how to use it, let's go ahead and I'll show you how to get here from the main menu, uh, or really on any page. Um, uh, on MathNook, you're going to see this menu up here, and you just click the teaching tools. It will take you to this page. Uh, go ahead and to, you can go click on any of our teaching tools. Um, we'll go ahead and click the telling time clock. Let me move this over so you can see this at home. Um, and this is the intro page, and basically it shows you what the uh, telling time clock looks like. And you can tell that you've got the right tool by looking at the title up here. Um, if you click on this link here, it'll take you to the application or the teaching tool. You can watch this video uh, by clicking this watch video overview link, or you can download the instructions uh, in PDF format. But we also have the instructions here if you want to read those online. We're not going to go over those because I'm going to be uh, showing you how to use it, and you really won't need that. Uh, those instructions are really just kind of for a uh, refresher if you need them. So when you start up the clock, um, it is in static mode and in show mode, and I'll show you what that means in a minute. But the control panel is up here, and it's divided into two sections. And this is kind of the configuration section, and this is kind of the uh, section that you can. Uh, it has different modes, and I'll show you what those are. The teaching modes, and I'll show you what those are in a minute. We'll go through each one of those. Um, before we start, I think in instructions it says you can hit the uh, C key. And if you notice, it uh, the control panel goes away, and that's kind of nice because once you get it configured, and I'll show you in a minute, uh, you can you can resize these, the clock and this this uh, the analog clock or the digital display down here. And I'm going to see to get that back on, and then you could get rid of this control panel and have uh, more of the uh, screen landscape used for the clock and uh, the digital and analog display and not have to worry about uh, seeing the control panel. So let's go ahead and show what move mode is. Move mode allows you to move everything on the screen and if I was teaching class I might want to head, go ahead and move this in the middle, resize it and you can make it very big. And The way I'm doing this is uh, any of these um, is by left clicking my mouse and as I move the mouse away from the center of the clock it gets bigger and as I move it towards it it gets smaller. Let's go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. I'm going to pretend like I'm in class and I want to it's probably going to be too big there. Let's go ahead and then I can click move mode and I can actually move this down and normally the control panel will be in the way but I could just do click C and now let's look, go again. We're uh, we're in move mode, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in static mode because if I click on the clock now and try to change the time, it's actually going to move the clock around. So let's go ahead and put it in static mode. That way I can click on it and move it around. Go ahead and hit the C key. In show mode, this we're now. If you can see, we're in show mode. This just really demonstrates how the clock works. And you can see as I move it to four. I'm sorry, three. Time changes, and I can change and move the time, um, fine tune it with the minute hand by clicking the minute hand. If I really want to get jump uh, fast time around, I can get ready anywhere on the clock by using the hour hand. That gives me so a lot of times if I want to get to 11 from here rather than spinning this around five times, I'll just drag the hour hand up to 11 and fine tune it there. And as you can see, this is kind of the show or demo mode, and this just shows the uh, your students or, or, or children how to how the time works. And uh, so that's show mode. Let's go ahead and bring the control panel back up, and we'll go to quiz mode. I'll probably have to adjust this round because, uh, yeah, as you can see, that I could move this out of the way. I like the clock that size, and I like this up here. So let's go ahead and actually move. You see, you can move the control panel around. Let's go ahead and make that a little bit better there. I'm going to go ahead and make static, and we're in quiz mode right now. And quiz mode allows me to 
as a teacher or parent put a time on there on the clock and then ask a student or child what time it is and you can either um, key in the time like so I'm just putting a number and hit enter do the same over here or really an easier way and I like is just to do um, this up and down arrow keys you can click it up time goes up click it down goes up same thing for here if I do check it says no actually you put in 310 the correct time is 3 o'clock let's go ahead and put it on 330 and click check and it tells me gives me a check mark which indicates I've got the right answer so that's how quiz mode works and as you go over to random mode let's go ahead and put random mode in there it's very similar except now the student let me go ahead and uh, uh, move this up here now in random mode put back in static although in this mode it doesn't really make any difference I'm going to go ahead and make that disappear by hitting the C key now it says set the time to 213 so the student can really do this by themselves um, oh I said it's 313 so it's, it tells me it says the time time set is 313 try again and so I'll do 213 I'll do the right one this way time and if I get it right then it moves on to another time so this one um, the student can practice by themselves without ha the teacher or parent having to set the time for them um, and uh, so they can just keep doing that and, and like I said if they let's go ahead and get over here fast put 435 and I check it so they can keep trying until they get it right and it's something an activity they can do by themselves so we'll go ahead and bring up the control panel with C five minute mode is really uh, it, it should be the five minute random mode because now the uh, times you'll notice is 250 it says set the clock to 250 uh, and now you'll notice that the random times that are selected are in five minute increments So it's 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 a random mode, but it's just like the random mode, but the time will always be in five minute increments. So, and if you notice my settings from before, it's kept like uh, the configuration that I had or that I had set earlier. Um, let me go back and go ahead and move show mode and move mode. So um, that's how the uh, telling time clock works. It's uh, free to use in the, at home and in the classroom. It's online. There's there's never any membership or sign up required to use these tools. Um, so I hope they help uh, help you, and I hope this video's helped some. And thanks for watching.